evaluate the expression 9 halves times x times 12 when x is equal to 1 fourth. So we just have to put 1 fourth in here for x. So this expression becomes 9 halves times 1 fourth times 12. Now we could just evaluate this, multiply 9 halves times 1 fourth, and then multiply that by 12. But a slightly faster way, or a way that'll maybe uh, reduce the chances for errors, would be to reassociate this. And what I mean that is, you can, instead of doing the 9 halves times 1 fourth first, we can do the 1 fourth times 12 first. This is the associative property of multiplication. So it doesn't matter if we have a bunch of numbers and we're multiplying them. So we have 9 halves times 1 fourth times 12. The associative property of multiplication tells us that it really doesn't matter which multiplications we do first when we just have a bunch of numbers being multiplied. So we can do these first. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because 1 fourth times 12 is very simple. That's the same thing as 12 divided by 4. Or if you want to think about it this way, because 1 fourth times 12 over 1, which would be 12 over 4, which is equal to which is equal to 3. And so that simplified things a good bit. Now the whole thing becomes 9 halves times 3, or 9 halves times 3 over 1, which is going to be equal to 27. 27 over 2. If we wanted to write that as a mixed number, it's an improper fraction right now. This would be 2 goes into 27 13 times with the remainder 1. So it'll be 13 and 1 half. Just to show you that it is the same thing as if we just evaluated it this way, let's do it that way as well. So if you did the 9 halves times the 1 fourth first, we would have gotten 9 over. 9 over 2 times 4 is 8. We would have gotten 9 eighths here. And then we would have had to multiply that times 12. We could multiply it times 12 over 1. We would, you could just multiply them, but an easier thing would be to simplify the numerator and the denominator before you multiply them. So the eventual numerator, let's divide that by 4. We'd get a 3 over here. Let's divide the eventual denominator by 4. You have to divide by the same thing as you divide the numerator by, so we get a 2. So this is going to be 9 times 3 is 27 over 2 times 1, which is 2 which is the exact same answer.